Okay, we're here today to talk about the LX7-20 pre-flight inspection and walk-around inspection. The first thing we'll want to do is grab our inspection uh, or our checklist and then follow those items down one at a time. The first item on the checklist is to enter the cockpit and check the items in there required documents. So we want to make sure that our airworthiness certificate, registration, weight and balance and operating limitations are all present. They are stored there on the LX-7 airplanes. And then the second item is to remove the BRS pin. So we'll take the cover off the ceiling, pull the pin out and stow it. And then we make sure that the BRS handle is free and unobstructed. It's good to go. And then the next item on the list is to verify that the landing gear uh, handle is down and all of our electrical switches are in their off position. Once those are done, we will check our circuit breakers on the left-hand side of the fuselage here by the pilot's left leg. Those are all in. And then battery switch one and battery switch two come on. Next, we want to know how our batteries are doing. We want a minimum of 26 volts on each battery. So we will let the MFD power up and boot up. And then we will switch it over to the engine indicating system page uh, by touching the engine strip here. Brings up our battery voltage, which is showing good, 26 and a half uh, and 26.4 on the batteries. Uh, next thing is to va validate our Garmin databases and we continue on there. And our fuel gauges we want to check and make sure that we have enough fuel quantity for the mission for the day. Check that. Um, fuel selector we want to validate that it is on auto. So the fuel, fuel system automatically maintains balance left to right wing. We want to make sure that it's in, in the automatic position. And then we're going to lower our flaps. So our flaps are going to come on down. There's the approach position. And then the next position will take them all the way down to pull down. Uh, PFD and crew enunciating system will look and make sure all the enunciations are normal there. And then we will go ahead and turn the pitot heat on momentarily. We just want to let that warm up while we're sitting here, well, no more than 10 seconds. And then we'll turn on our external lights so that we can inspect and make sure those are all working. And we'll do the same thing with the propeller heat. We'll hold down our test button for our propeller heat. And once all those things have had a chance to warm up, we can climb out and check the lights. And then we're done with this portion of the checklist.